SEO stands for search engine optimization. And essentially what that is, is basically it's how we go about getting your website uh, ranked on the first page of Google uh, for certain keywords. And, and I, <laughs> I, I say this because uh, a lot of people say, well, I want to be on the first page of Google. I'm like, okay, but which first page? I mean, there's a billion first pages because there's a pretty much an unlimited amount of key phrases that someone could type in and you'd end up on that first page. So it's actually really important to know what being on the first page even really means. It's really just the first page of that one search term. Now we can try to get you on the first page for a hundred different search terms or one search term or 20, but a part of the whole SEO concept is picking these terms first, which is going to be relevant to your audience, and then we go about doing certain things on the back end for digital uh, that will help get you ranked. Now, what are those things that we do? There's a lot of things. Um, there's three pillars of search engine optimization that needs to be addressed. For one, you have to be relevant, unique, and consistent in your content. Those are the three main things that Google and the other search engines look for. They want to know that whatever the person's typing in is relevant to your website. right? They also want to know that you're consistent. So if you're posting a blog once a month, that's not very consistent. If you're only updating your website pictures and text once every year, that's obviously not consistent. They know that consistency means that you're active and you're probably going to help the person that's clicking on you. Um, and then of course you need unique. You can't plagiarize, obviously. Obviously, you don't want to copy and paste from other people's things, so you've got to write your own legitimate content. So there's a lot of things we do. That's the front side. There's also the back end where we go through the coding of a website and make sure that things like sitemaps um, are correct. A sitemap is essentially kind of like a digital roadmap that tells Google where certain information is on your website. And that's not always included if you just got a new website. So if you just got one or you currently have one and you're not sure, you should let us or someone else know to do a site audit because we can tell you if it's there because if it's not then Google's algorithms and what they call spiders that crawl through these websites aren't going to know where to look which means they're not going to rank you high so that's a big deal so for example you might have an uh, image that's named you know image 452-3 right but that doesn't tell Google anything it's not relevant at that point so we'll go in there and we will rename the image let's say you know 1945 uh, you know uh, Buick something right and just whatever that car is and then that tells Google that that's what that is a picture of and that makes it relevant again we'll also go in there we'll change uh, links and make sure that those uh, forward slash you know it might be your domain name forward slash whatever that page is, we want to describe that page so that again, Google knows what it is. SEO contributes to inbound marketing in an actually a pretty obvious way. If you're ranking really high in the search engines for these uh, keywords and phrases that are very relevant to what you do, that means that thousands of people are searching for you. And if you're popping up, that is a huge amount of inbound traffic because if they're clicking on you, then they're on your website now. So, I mean, it's really one of the biggest pillars to inbound marketing, period. So if you don't already know how to do SEO yourself, um, or if you just don't have the time and you don't have someone in-house and if you haven't hired someone, definitely hire a company, professionals who actually understand SEO really well, whether it be us or someone else that, uh, that you know. But either way, you got to get someone to do this for you because I cannot possibly overstate the importance of SEO and what happens when you please the Google gods, as we call it here uh, at Infinity. Uh, but definitely get on that because it's going to help you tremendously. Of Oh, that was like a rat going through the <laughs> ceiling. I was like, what's going on? <laughs>